Previously on Slay the Princess. Out, unfortunately, oh. 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 your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. Look, 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 look how she's fucking getting ready to. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. Oh, she. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. God damn. Holy You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. This is going like. You're here to. But first, I gotta rebuke it in the name of Jesus, cause <laughs> hell no. She releases you, your numb body crumpling to the stone floor as your vision starts to fade. What am I supposed to do without you? Chapter three, the fury. You're on a path in the woods. What? And at the, the end fuck? of that path. Oh, I've heard this one before. Let me guess. Let me guess. There's a cabin and a princess, and you want us to get rid of her for you. This not shit look happen. disgusting, bro. It's not on my watch. I don't think I. Oh, you bloody fool! Am I the only one here who actually listened to her? She wants a fight, and we're not gonna give it to her. It's funnier if we don't. You think what happened last time was funny? I thought we were breaking this a shit cycle of disgusting, bro. We were practicing what in a mortal in mortal peril. I thought we were what being in a mortal combat, heroic even. Ah, we're a deep and multifaceted being. Who's to really say that your thing and my thing can't peacefully coexist? So we technically got some got something out of her. You know what I'm saying? Like she she's 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 coming to understand. I'm big dog in this bitch, you heard? Both of you just I'm not up. I'm not gonna give you what you want because you want it. You're not finna take it from me. You gotta earn it. Make me rage. Boy. Earn this fight. This is just right. <sighs> Let me cut to the chase. What what will Kerry Washington say? If you want me, ask me! Yeah, you think? Olivia Pope. What does here even mean, though? You've told us about the path of the princess and all of that already, but this is a very different path to the last one. This is disgusting. That's a good point. Everything here is a little off. A little? This is a meat. All meat. Yes, precisely. And if you'd given me two seconds to finish my thought, I would have said that. Oh, you're actually letting me talk now. Great. If you've already been here, it means you've seen things you aren't supposed to have seen, and you know things that you aren't supposed to know. This doesn't look like a park in the woods. She said reality what? Reality seems distorted. It's because reality is distorted. So you knew this could happen. You knew we'd be able to restart like this. Look, if the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means you're nearing the point of no return. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. So you'd better take things seriously. Feel like I'm being pulled in a hundred different directions. You better listen. You better all listen to me when, I, when the time comes to make the right choice. Okay? Not facts. Because like... Where are you getting that number? We're talking four. Maybe five directions tops. At least for now. So sure if, more if my thing is, is that I don't think you have much to worry about. You're still the one in charge here. And I don't think that's ever going to change. Is this progressively getting like worse? I'm just trying to figure out. Then what happens? Like, am I doing something bad? Like, is what happens. yeah, but is there something? After the end, how am I supposed to know? The end means finality. It's not like I can just peek on over to the other side and tell you what it's like there, if there even is a there. I'm gonna still Isn't keep my same route of like not fighting her. Maybe we need a better I fought later. her the first we time, but then I'm like, yo, questions. nah, man, you trying to, you trying to somebody. 
you talking about? It's my job to guide you through your task and to state the facts of what. Shut the fuck up, narrator. Narrator. Besides, I'm the best you're going to get. Because I'm. Fucking. I'm walking in. Good. We're all on the same. That shit look disgusting, bro. This cabin keep changing. Isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up at the cabin on the hill. You're, that's it. No final words of advice. I'd rather not waste any more time. I'm sure that any advice I'd give at this point is something you've already heard. Exactly. Don't be so hard on yourself. We all wind up in creative ruts now and then. I'm sure if you put your mind to it, you could think of something worth telling us. Go inside the cabin. The interior of the cabin is a place oh. that feels long forgotten. There was once an elegance to its construction. Carved marble columns holding a high arched roof. Vaulted windows letting in the weak stuff. The door is the mirror. But that is how it was. Now there is a growth that has overtaken it. A growth is disgusting. It seeps from cracks in the stone walls, and it congeals into chaotic streaks of writhing nerves and wet clumps of living meat. That's horrible. That is horrible. I think it's kind of nice. Makes Hell the room no. feel alive, doesn't Hell it? Hell no. The only furniture of note is a pulsating pedestal. A pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. We'll need it if we want to do things right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I say we leave it to rust. Let's not make the same mistake twice. We could have won if we had... Shut the fuck up, stubborn. The mirror's blocking the door. There is no mirror. There's... I don't know what to tell you. There isn't a mirror because I would know if there was a mirror. You're either seeing things or you're confused on the definitions of door and mirror. Or you're seeing things. That seems far more likely. What are you trying to say? It means you're hallucinating. It went away after we touched it last time. Let's just do it again. Fact. You step forward and approach the door to the basement. Hesitating before you open it. As if you don't see it. You really don't, do you? That's strange. I see a mirror, nigga. It really is, just like last time. Are we really hallucinating? Why here? Why now? Does it matter if it's actually real or not? Talking about it gets under his skin. That's all that matters. I'ma see I'ma ch I'ma check like different playthroughs and shit like that. I'ma 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 uh, if if it ends like at this thing at this uh chapter, I'ma I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna I'm gonna start fighting her. Slap her real quick, pop, you know? Let's just smash it and get it over with. I'm ready to get we won't be able to see what's in there if we smash you whatever you want with it. The mirror isn't real, so how you handle it doesn't matter. Aside This narrator is annoying. Why the mirror reach forward and drag your hand across the door leading to the basement. As if on command, it slowly slides open, scraping against the stone floor, its ancient hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path ahead. Why am I not surprised? You step Shit. into the darkness. Into the darkness? What are we talking about? The stairs about? leading down to the basement Ugh. are at once both narrow and grandiose. The high vaulted ceiling stretches up into a gloom beyond your sight, while walls wet with tumorous growths press in uncomfortably at your sides. You feel both unprotected and trapped, at once exposed and claustrophobic. The air is thick, its odor an oppressive violence. Mm -mm. The metallic scent of fresh blood Ugh. twisting with the nauseating embers of charred remains. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice, a bellowing rage, roars up the stairs. So you've returned after denying me the salvation of combat? Are you here to gloat? Are you here to mock what I've become? Do you think that if you let me kill you enough times, I'll suddenly soften and repent for sins that live solely in your head? Well, we've tried that, haven't we? Now come down and see what your refusal has done to me. See how much you can bear to witness the consequences of your actions. So is she turning into something like you you're talking about yeah. like Damn. Well, sounds like we got to her last time. Let's keep pushing, see what else we can make happen. Alright. Go downstairs, see what she look like. You make your way to the bottom. She probably of the look like holy hell right now, bro. The chamber's walls what the fuck? Blood, a deep 
sickening red that drips down in plotted streams onto the charred corpses that make up its floor. This place reeks of torment, of ripped skin and burning bone. Where her titties go? Stop, stop, stop. The princess stands in its centre, muscles flayed and bare and weeping, draped in a tattered dress of her own skin. Her heart beats from its place in her open chest. Do you know what I'm going to do to you? There's not so much a moment of hesitation before she steps forward. Her chains pull taut, holding fast as she strains against them. The cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. Blood drips from the place where metal meets flesh. Oh my god, bro. With a nauseating sound, the skin tears. It plops to the ground. Oh nah. She pulls Next her time she gonna have to die, bro. Arm free from her bindings. She is loose, and she is coming. She wants us to be afraid because she wants us to think she can make us suffer. Don't give her the satisfaction. That's right, no fear. She's bigger than the last time, but she's pulling herself apart. She's practically done most of the work for us. We don't even have a weapon. It doesn't matter. I refuse to go out any way that isn't kicking and screaming. God damn. What happened to you? Time happened. You happened. But none of that matters. We're together again and I'll have what you denied me. She bounds across the room, her fists ready, her heart set upon your destruction. With a horrifying squelch, you are unwound. Yeah, think it did. I hope you weren't planning on dying. We're going to make this last forever. Huh. I feel cold. I've never felt cold before. Oh, shit. What the fuck? So you just going... What the fuck? True to her word. You do not die by her hand. Something has taken her away, and has left something else in her place. She's gone. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? That nigga's like, bae. Oh, there's that mirror up there. Why is it here? Why now? I don't know where she went. I don't know how we even go about looking for her. Now it is gone too. Does that mean the world ended? Again? What the hell are we supposed to do? The world didn't end. We're still here. Come on. We just need to keep going. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should know. <laughs> don't do that. Screw the mirror. We just need to find the... You're right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. It's like it's mocking us. Again, what the hell are we supposed to do? Go towards the mirror, I'm my nigga. You, don't do this. Nah, hero, shut up. Let's see. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone. But the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. Ugh. That nigga look like, uh, what's his face from, uh, 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 Death Note. It's you. You are alone in this place that is empty. It is quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. What the fuck? You are at the cabin. Approach her. Cause I try to figure out what Something the thing finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Cause I was trying to figure out like what the name of the show was, I forgot. 
Are you the princess? She is part of me. <laughs> and part of me is her. <laughs> But you were always the princess, or are you just making a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? without connections a dim and nascent network do I gotta pray I after to this? More. what do you think I am? I think that you are like me we are oceans reduced to shallow creeks yes Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. Mm. This one is desecration. Mm -hmm. She placed the weight of her agony on you. Mm. But it is she who unwound herself. Mm -hmm. But there is passion and empathy in her misery. Mm -hmm. She will make for a burning heart. Mm. Do not mourn her. She has finally found peace. This bitch over here look like a fucking... Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Mm. Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. Mm. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. No, you don't lie, that bitch. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. Mm. I feel sadness, mm. longing, mm? hope, mm. as I witness you. Mm -hmm. What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and mm. that we are meant to reach them. Mm -hmm. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know- It's gonna her. restart. So if it's gonna restart, then I have to keep going to uh, having like different options. <gasps> I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. Mm. And if and what 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 if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now, unfinished, dry, hollow. God damn! You don't want to say all that. Yeah. More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am in. It says I'm not going back. Make me forget. What what okay, so if I say I'm not going back and says wait What 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 does that entail? Like does it game over? Like waiting here until or like do I like come back to her and, and let me save it real quick. 
Let me see what's gonna go on right here. Ooh. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. Wait forever. I want to see what the wait forever does. You are as I am now, and forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? That bitch sound like she's will sleepy. You place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping. If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage. You'll always come back to the box. Because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I. I know this game did not just end on me like that. You have returned to me. Though you were gone mere moments, I never left your side. What the fuck? Oh, nah, they did not just do that. That's that's crazy. What the fuck? Nah, 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 nah. That, yo, that's crazy. What the fuck, bro? So they just turn off the game because, like, it says that you're waiting forever. You just turn off the game. Then as soon as you start it back up, she says you. you you return to me. It starts at the same point that is ended. That was kind of dope. I like that. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. The oh, fuck? Everything goes dark. And you die. Oh. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin, you're here to s You can skip the previous dialogue. Tab on a keyboard. Okay. Uh I'm a, okay, so this time I'm a I'ma go keep fighting her. I'm just gonna like, you know jab her up with the fucking with the fucking blade. We're gonna go to the Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay. Proceed to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is almost... Take the knife. Take the blade from the table. Mm-hmm. It'd be rather difficult to... Head to the basement. The door to the basement... She's talking shit. Continue down the stairs. You're still listening to reason. Steal your nerves and step, step forward. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you like... steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Or a knife. Best what? not to risk or a knife. finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate, just, just run up on her shit. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Mm-hmm. Is she gonna hit me? Oh. Mm. This is it, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder, mm. do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes, even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago, that arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really? Over. Mm -mm.
I'm not sure. I feel like she got some trying, uh, some, 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 some kind of trick up her sleeve. It's over. You could check her sleeves if you want, but I can assure you that there's nothing hidden up there. Hell no. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? I really don't think you should do that. And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. I, I want to see. All right, so you're right. She's she's dead. Let's get out of here. Yes, exactly. It's over. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. That bitch about to come out that door. Like chill. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. Mm. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Dip out. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. And about to come through back. <laughs> nah, bro. Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. That was bullshit. What's done is done. And there's no going. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Psst. Hey. We're not just going to stay here forever, right? Hell no. I do, but you're probably not going to like it. The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. I can mm. hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on, and I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful... Do you not? There's more for us to do, and the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Mm -hmm. Don't you dare. We're getting the hell up <sighs> out of here. You. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough this reward for saving this narrator's the world? Nasty, An bro. eternity of bliss, you, you ingrate. See? Fine. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. The princess's body is dust and bones, oh, though the shit. blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. The end. Nice knowing you.